Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Got something completely different today. Um, I mentioned, I've seen a few people mention uh, iPod Modern, um, and I thought, you know what, it's kind of like an itch I need to scratch. Um, I thought, you know, I'll get into it. Um, how hard can it be? It was one of them, you know, where we didn't do this because because uh, it was easy. It was as we thought it was going to be easy. So I started out quite easy mod. Just put an SSD in it. Took the old took the old hard drive out. Put an SSD in there, put a bigger battery. Great, that one got one easy, easy that one. Next thing I wanted to do, bring it up to the modern era, add USB C charging and data. Now I've done charging before with USB C using the six pin uh, USB ports that I used, which is dead easy. Um, I have never done the data, so that took a bit to try to work out. Um, I found like a 12 pin um, USB C port, which was quite nice to use to solder with the data lines, just put them in. Great, that went easy, easy enough. Uh, took a few revisions, but we got there. And then the last one, which was um, Bluetooth, which is also similarly related to the USB-C port. So I added Bluetooth audio in there. Um, I'll give you a little look at the little USB-C board. I've got one installed on this broken board here. So you can see, and it's got a little switch here, and you think, what's that for? Well, when I was doing the Bluetooth mod, I hooked it up to the internals, um, and then I realized that the Bluetooth was always connected, was always sucking power. So like, if after a couple of days, it would just um, obliterate the battery. Um, and with these iPods, it takes forever to charge, so this was not gonna be good. So that's why I did a little tiny switch. It took me ages to find this little, the tiniest switch that you could find just to fit next to here and here. So you can just flick it on. You wouldn't, you wouldn't see anything on the actual iPod itself because it doesn't actually know it's there. It's just wired into the internals, wired into the uh, internal uh, headphone jack and it fits down here somewhere. So what you got to do is flip your headphones open Press a little button on the back. These are Pixel Bud 3As. And you'll see it flashing, and then it stopped flashing, and it's connected to the iPod now. And then whatever audio you play through there will play for your speakers. Uh, they'll still connect it um, to your iPod, so if you do want to take them in and out and do whatever, until you're connected to another device, and then you have to go back through the syncing thing. But um, I found like a little tiny little Bluetooth dongle. I think that's supposed to go into your back of your telly, into USB port in your telly, comes a little headphone mail-to-mail uh, uh, -mail lead, plug that in, and I think it's supposed to uh, do to your headphones. So it's basically, what I did was took it out the dongle, chopped it down a bit, wired it all in. Uh, did a quite good, quite easy way of doing it, which is, if I kept it, um, took, I had to take the USB, the USB, the headphone jack off the dongle, but before I did that, I plugged it into both both ends, and then you could, with a multimeter, you could like um, map out which which put which points go to where. So it made that quite easy, and then it was all a matter of just wiring it up with some like um, thin, like a uh, magnet wire, quarter quarter of a mil. Uh, wired all that up, wired it to a few points, and then uh, yeah, it worked. It works quite well, and then um, you just got to remember to turn it off when you're not using it. But yeah, the uh, USB-C port, the way it works, I get to focus, there's this little, um, I'm not even sure what it actually is, but it's a little thing for the USB. Uh, so you basically tap into that for your plus and minus. Uh, your uh, ground's attached to this capacitor here. And then your power is on the eighth, because it won't focus, the eighth pin from the right as you look at it this way is your power line and then that's it you can use your usb-c cable here juice it in see it charging it charges extremely slowly though i'm not sure if that's because the mod i've done but i think i've seen other people mention that the ipod does charge really really slowly like if it's flat it'll probably take like a day to charge it up but also while in the meanwhile i didn't the, the other thing I got mentioned about the uh, Bluetooth is that the range on it is absolutely abysmal because there's a metal back. There's a reason that the iPod Touch has like a little um, a little plastic hole, a uh, little cover to let the radios out. So um, with this, it'll, it's alright if you have it um, just like on the table whilst you're using your iPod. But if you, if you put it in your pocket, you start walking about, and and yeah, just it's just terrible. That's why. 
it's not I would not recommend it I bought went out and bought this little tiny little uh, mp3 player got it off Aliexpress for 25 pounds uh, 30 32 gig um, inbuilt storage it's got a SD card it's got a built-in speaker uh, this has Bluetooth on it as well, which is nice. It's got USB-C charging, but it does not have the resistors. I had to add the resistors to make it work with a C to C cable. So it does work, but uh, which is annoying because that's like your data cable line. So I added that. It's got Bluetooth. It's got a little tiny little speaker. I won't play any music now because it'll probably get a copyright strike. Um, but it's quite nice. It's a nice little player. They make loads of different. Um, Loads of different players, but I like I like this one because of the built-in speaker because I just have it here in me um in my workbench when I'm working, so it's quite nice. It's just nice and small. Just throw it in your pocket. The battery life is uh, really good. It's got a headphone jack, which is nice. A little clip here. So yeah, I'd probably recommend just going and getting a um, player off AliExpress if you want one with USB-C, Bluetooth, um, all modern stuff. Because with the iPod, you've got to have a dedicated app. On your computer to put the files on, they can't just connect it up uh, and throw them on like this. It's just basically a mass storage drive. Drive just throw your files on, and that's it. Or put them on your SD card. Expandable storage. This is the 128 gig uh, SSD. I'm going to put all the. Um, I'm going to release the board files, all the 3D print little bits, uh, and how to can it install it. So if you want to have a go yourself, you know. Um, but yeah, this is 128 gig SSD, and this you can go bigger. Um, but I just thought it was kind of like a, it was like the cheaper, cheaper option, and it's got a nice big battery in it as well, which helps. That's probably why it takes so long to charge as well, because the like, I think the battery is more bigger than uh, twice the size of it. So, yeah, as usual, thanks for watching. Bye.